Welcome to Ford Power Force Tech Talk. In this series, we'll focus on tips to help you fix your Ford vehicle right the first time. Now in this post, we'll talk about diagnostic aids for debris in the 6.4 diesel fuel system. What to look for and what to check to determine if your fuel system is contaminated. These fuel systems are highly tuned and sensitive, and if you run something through them that shouldn't be there, it can wreak havoc on your engine. One of the important clues to help you discover potential fuel system contamination is a sequence of multiple misfires. If, during testing, more than three cylinders are misfiring, that suggests that you might have some foreign debris in your fuel system. Another clue that your fuel system might have contamination is a no-start condition combined with a high or a low fuel rail pressure sensor reading. Simple tests you can perform using the Integrated Diagnostic System or IDS scan tool, or by taking the truck to a Ford dealer. If one of those conditions comes up, your next step is to perform a fuel system debris check. Now in this test, fuel flows from the high pressure pump, pushing debris out of the fuel rails for inspection. You need a minimum of 100 PSI fuel rail pressure, or FRP, while cranking, with a good base fuel pressure of 3 to 8 PSI to perform the test. If you don't, you'll have to remove the high pressure fuel rails and flush them with clean diesel to get a sample. You want to check this sample for debris or for the presence of too much water. The water and fuel lamp usually indicates the presence of too much water in the system, but it's not completely foolproof. Water can be in the system, bypassing the water and fuel lamp for several reasons. They include a lack of fuel separator or fuel filter maintenance, or using a filter that doesn't meet Ford specs. Preferably, there's no water in the system. However, on the left is what water and fuel look like when they separate. On the right, this cloudy appearance is what it looks like when water and fuel have emulsified. Either one can result in damage to the system if excessive water is present. If your primary or secondary fuel filters are dirty or collapsed, it could indicate that your fuel system is contaminated. Make sure they're not full of mud or algae. Other clues to look for include rust and corrosion in the secondary fuel filter housing, indicating the presence of water, and debris or foreign matter found in the fuel injector tubes. If you find debris or foreign matter in the injector tubes, it has circulated through the system. And one test that can help you diagnose debris in the fuel system is the black cap test. Just pour a sample of fuel from the fuel rail into a black cap and shine a flashlight over it to reveal any fine particles or contaminants. If you do find debris in your fuel system, indicating that it's contaminated, the best practice is to replace the entire system at once. That way, you avoid a continuous cycle of recontamination and help prevent engine damage. So next, let's take a look at some of the equipment we've been featuring on this series to help you find and fix engine issues fast. Rotunda Testing Equipment is a national Ford endorsed program, providing Ford tested and approved testing equipment and tools to their dealers, fleet managers, and independent repair facilities to help ensure a quality repair every time and using Ford or Motorcraft parts during your regular maintenance will help keep your Ford engines running smoothly and even help extend their life. Motorcraft diesel engine fuel filters remove particles as small as 10 microns, and in some cases, four microns in diameter at 93% efficiency. And the AquaBlock technology, a special water membrane that aftermarket filters may not have, ensures separation of water from fuel. In fact, Water removal efficiency is 96% or better. And the air bleed orifice purges excess air from the top of the filter, allowing fuel to flow through all of the media for better filtration. And remember, drain the vehicle's water separator, located in the fuel conditioning module, at least every oil change, and immediately if you see the water and fuel dashboard lamp. So, that's all for this post. Join us for our upcoming Ford Power Force Tech Talk posts on installation and repair tips for Ford engines. Thanks for watching.